Today we're going to take a look at Shakura Camping Village. Come and join us. This KOA has a Founders Award and President's Award as well. They're a member of the New Hampshire Campground Owners Association. So, first impressions of Shakura. It's a very nice campsite. I'm, I'm well pleased. We, we were here about 13 years ago, and it has improved like 200%. When you first arrive at the KOA, you'll find a little registration cabin. Inside the cabin, you'll find a desk, uh, you know, check-in desk with a couple of people there. They'll check you in. They'll show you where your campsite is. And then they will uh, call for guest services, and guest services will come down and uh, yeah, lead you to your campsite and assist you with backing in. It is gated, and they will give you a code to enter and get through. If you're arriving after hours, they have some instructions here for you. So the main road through the campground is paved all the way down to the store. But then all the other side roads and loops are dirt and gravel. Near the front of the campground are the seasonal sites. From the main entrance, there are a number of hills and it all rolls down and slopes down to the lake. All the sites are well marked. They have a picnic table and fire pit. Some of the deluxe sites even have patio furniture. And a barbecue. There are a number of sites where you can go for tent camping. They have a dump station. It's just as you exit on the left. They do have a place for bag trash and recycling. Okay, so we saw just about every type of RV you could imagine here, including Imagines. <laughs> Couples campers, large travel trailers, fifth wheels, pop-ups. A lot of pop-ups here. Hybrids, Class A's, Class C's, and even a Class B. Uh, a lot of tenting sites. Uh, not all the tenting sites were full, but yeah, there was plenty of room for tent camping. There's a number of really nice uh, tent camping spots right on the lake. And they had a lot of cabins. You know, there's uh, various types of cabins that you can rent here from your very basic rustic to a very expensive, you know, family home. And they do have wireless connectivity. Restrooms are very clean and tiled. Here's some basic shower stalls. Some coat hooks, too, to hang things up on. They have a decent laundry room, three washers, two dryers, and a place to fold your laundry. The facilities are very well kept up. Center of the campground by the lake, they have a store. It's moderately well stocked. It's small, but, you know, plenty of stuff in there, food items and camping items. Outside the store, they have a little waiting area for people with dogs. Next to the main store, they have a craft shop. When the bell rings, the activities begin. There's a patio area up here. They have a community hall with a giant fireplace, piano, and books another deck to sit and enjoy the morning sun. Downstairs below is a game room. Pool, ping pong, air hockey, foosball. They have a large pavilion. Inside the pavilion is a snack bar, the Mosey Moose, and they have a mini theater. Theater seating and a widescreen TV. This is a nice little theater area. When we were here they had a movie with a fish. Grounds are well cared for. They have a community fire ring where they had a community fire last night. They have a very nice pool. It's small but it's very clean, but it's perfect for families. No diving, running, glass, or alcohol. Please shower before entering the pool, and remember, there's no lifeguard on duty. Swim at your own risk. The campground sits on Moore's Pond. It's a nice little pond for canoeing and kayaking, pedal boating, and they have some rowboats you can check out. Life jackets for the boats, paddles for the boats. They have a small beach area. Playgrounds look well maintained. There's the classic wood ship and modern jungle gym. This thing here reminds me of the final scene in Dr. Strangelove. The other playground is for toddlers. And they also have a volleyball court and horseshoes. They even give you the rules for horseshoes. Dogs are welcome, but pick up after them, keep them on a leash. There is a dog park, very nice, big dog park. And they have a camp canine. Here are the pedicate rules. I like this one. Play equipment is for dogs only. Sorry, people. They even have some kennels available. The lake is rather shallow and joined by a wetlands area. So you might see some bass and some perch, maybe some bluegill.
in the distance is Mount Shakura. The canopy is made up of deciduous and conifers, a lot of nice conifers and pines I'd say. There are all sorts of nice little nature trails through here. They're through a wetlands area, so make sure you bring your bug spray. The one thing I will say about the boardwalk through the wetlands is it does have some character. Their nature trails are extensive. It is really nice to come out here early in the morning at the start of the day and walk the trails. You can hear the birds. Yeah, it's beautiful. If you are a bird watcher, this is the place to come. It's a bird watcher's paradise. They're all over the place. Did we see any critters while we were here? Yes, we saw some chipmunks, a couple of little squirrels. I imagine there are other things that come in. They warn you to keep everything cleaned up in your campsite at night because of the critters. So yeah, there's some critters here uh, and lots of birds, lots of birds. But we only saw one crow this time. Were there any cons to this campsite? Well, uh, the only con is that where we were, it was close to the road so we could hear the highway noise. Would we come back to this campground? Yes, we would. It's a very nice campground. It's even a nice seasonal campground. Uh, it's close to uh, all things on the eastern side of Lake Winnipesaukee and uh, the Ossipee area. And it's not too far off from Conway. So yeah, we definitely come back. Well, that's going to do it for this week's review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it useful, I hope you will click that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the streets.